Hi, Mr. Devlin here, and today we're going to be talking about the game Vigor. 1991. The nuclear war is over. Central Europe is devastated. Norway has become the last stand. You start as a nameless outlander, but who will you become? No time for uncertainty. Turn a shelter into your home. Fight, run or hide. Take risks, claim rewards, survive this cutthroat experience. This game is um, available to Xbox Insiders and I've been asked if I would play the game and give my opinion. As I, I am an Xbox Insider, I am going to give my personal opinion on this game and tell you a little bit about it. And like I said, just at the moment, it is for Xbox Insiders only. But it's going to be released in 2019. And you know what? It's going to be free to play. So everyone is going to be able to play this game. Apparently, though, it's an Xbox exclusive only. So, a little bit about the game. The game's set in Norway, 1991. Civilization lies in ruins. Will you rise from the debris? Scandinavia, mostly untouched by the fallout of the war, remains the last safe zone in a post-war Europe. Norway, once a haven, has transformed into a cutthroat land of survival where only the ruthless or cunning make it out alive. There's no time for uncertainty. Humanity is in disarray and resources are scarce. Scavenge what you can, but be warned, you're not alone out there. Survive. Cutthroat encounters for 8 to 16 players. Claim. Precious resources and valuable rewards. Improve. Your safe shelter and vital equipment. Become. The courageous outlander in post-war Norway. At E3 2018, Bohemia Interactive announced a supposed Xbox One exclusive called Vigor. A nuclear bomb has devastated Central Europe, causing survivors to look towards Norway for salvation. Players have their own shelter, which operates as the main progression system, allowing you to upgrade it along the way. Just like Bohemia Interactive's DayZ, there's a focus on gathering resources and materials to keep yourself afloat. Lastly, crafting also plays a crucial role and acts as one of the main gameplay hooks. Since starting this video, there has been an update on the situation of Vigor, and this is what it is. Vigor, as I previously said, been available to Xbox Insiders for a good few days now, and it looks like it's coming to Xbox Game Preview next week. According to a post by ID at Bot Xbox, the game should be launched today, which is the 31st of July 2018 for 19.99 in a number of countries, which is great news for those who wanted to play but didn't want to join the Xbox Insider program. It's been stated by Bohemia Interactive's Petra Cola, also confirmed that the title would eventually be enhanced for Xbox One X with 4K resolution. Unfortunately, since the base console couldn't achieve 60 frames per second, the frame rate would most likely be locked to 30 frames per second on both systems to maintain multiplayer parity. Hopefully, further optimization will allow the developer to introduce a 60 frame per second mode on both machines. I'll keep you posted, and as soon as I know anything about the game, I'll let you know. It's going to be some time, though, because it is still in early development. Apparently, though, like I said before, in 2019, it is going to be free to play. 1999, and that's in dollars, I think, is so you can get early access. But don't quote me on that. Figure's not a game I would usually play, or the genre of games I would usually play. But actually, once I started getting used to it, I had a bit of fun with it. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. And when I realised to stop deconstructing everything that I'd salvaged, I started progressing more in the game. Not very good at the gunplay at the moment, and there seems to be people out there that are really good at the game already. But... My own opinion is, is that it could be a good game. It could be something that you could enjoy 
and spend a few hours playing. It's not a game I don't think I'll be playing for hours and hours on end, but I can find myself coming back to this game. But you never know, I might really, really get into it. I've enjoyed the game, the graphics are great. It is a bit buggy at the moment, as you'll see with some of the gameplay I'm going to be putting on. But I think, in general, it's quite a good game. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon ticket so you get notifications of when we post in new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin, out.